One of the difficulties that schools often have in managing improving behaviour is getting that real consistency in place. And we know that the more consistent teachers are about the systems that they use, the better behaviour gets. So I developed a very simple checklist of ideas that schools can use and adapt for themselves in order that they can focus on the priorities for the school that they need to be particularly consistent around. And I'm here in Whitehall Infants looking at the checklist they've developed um, to see how that's changed, improved the management of behaviour in the school. So Katie, how did you develop the checklist here at Whitehall Infants? We sat down as a small group of teachers um, and we were going to trial the checklist in our, in our classrooms. Um, we've got lots of things embedded in our school in terms of behaviour at the moment anyway, so it was mainly just a matter of pulling those things together and seeing which things were most important for us to embed into our classrooms further. And how has this been effective in, in improving and managing behaviour in your class? In my class, lots of our routines were already in place, but what it does for us is it just reminds us any little bits that are out of, out of sync, or particularly if somebody else comes in to take the class, they know exactly what to do, exactly how, what our structures are, and it really goes much more smoothly. And how would it be useful for other teachers in other schools, do you think? I, th I think it could be really valuable, particularly for newer teachers or teachers who are just starting off in a school, and it really makes it consistent across the school. So it's fantastic for, in terms of leadership that they can make sure that there's that consistency across the school as well. Because as we know, consistency is one of the most important things when it comes to managing behaviour, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and for the children as well, they need that consistency, so this really puts it in place. So, Christina, how has the behaviour checklist been useful in your class? It's been really effective. I make sure they have their carpet places, yeah. and their lining up order, and that's quite visual as well because I have it up on the door, mm -hmm. so they're able to see that. And what about, I noticed you had the attention grabber, what was that all about? Um, we use a rain stick, um, yeah. it's quite effective because you're not using your voice. It's a different way of stopping the children, so you just do that a few times. They all have to be looking up at you. Um, you have to be consistent with it as well. Right. So um, make sure you're always using the rain stick. or You could alternate to different behaviour management strategies, yeah. Yeah. but keep it the same.